Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial of how to patch ROMs on Android, such as Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, NES, and various other systems. Um, it's super easy to do. There's an app called Unipatcher, and uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I will be patching the Full Metal Alchemist GBA game to the English patch that was made. So uh, we'll start off, we'll head to my video where I've already got the patch links and stuff, and we'll go from there. I've already got a couple of the apps that I had everything backed up here. Um, here's the link to the ROM patcher. I already have it downloaded. It's Unipatcher. Uh, so I won't be clicking on that, but I already have it. Just click on that. It'll open Chrome or whatever browser, and then it should jump you into uh, your Play Store. And uh, here's the patch. I'll show me downloading that so you can see how to do it. Use whatever um, browser you want. I'll just use Chrome because it's easiest. Alright. This is the translation page where uh, the guy that made this posted it here. We'll scroll down to the bottom here over to links and download. For whatever reason this website has you put a password in it and it's just this right here. I think it's just a verification thing so people aren't using bots and things or whatever the case might be. Hold on, I gotta use my hand for this. I was just using the mouse. I'm mainly using a mouse on this video just so that I don't have to move the phone around and touch the screen so much. That way there's not so much noise during the recording. Okay, we've got that recorded. Or got, got that downloaded. Um, we'll go unzip it. I've already got my ROM unzipped, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, as far as the ROM goes, Google is your friend. Google Full Metal Alchemist ROM, uh, or Full Metal Alchemist Stray Rondo ROM. You should find a link. You're going to be looking for the Japanese ROM file, which uh, one of the websites that comes up is Emu Paradise. You can go to that one, check it out. You should get what you need. So, we'll exit out here. For the purposes of this, we'll uh, keep everything in the downloads folder here. This is just my built-in uh, file manager on the phone. So, we'll extract this. Alright, delete this one because I don't need it anymore. And, uh... There's your patch file, this .xdelta. This is the uh, ROM. I already extracted it and left it in my downloads folder just to make things simple. So we'll head over to um, Unipatcher. This is super, super simple. Um... These are just some random settings. Uh, you shouldn't need this for this one. Uh, I've seen other tutorials where they had to do fix check some for like the Mother 3 patch for the English patch, but you don't think you should need it for this one. So we'll open up the patch file, which we'll go in here in our downloads folder and do this fma002.xdelta. Then we'll open up the ROM file, which will be our Fulmina Alchemist Japanese ROM. Like I said, you'll have to find that on your own. I can't link that because it is copyrighted material. And uh, here will be the output name, which will be the Fulmina Alchemist or whatever you've got it named and then patched in these closed parentheses here. Um... You can change this to rename it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it for simplicity and 
we're going to tap this button right here. And it shouldn't take but a minute. Okay, it did it instantly. All right. And this should patch into the folder you had your ROM in. So we'll check it out. I'll make sure it's there. And it is. There's our patch ROM. You can tell because it says 16 megabytes. That's how you'll know that this should have been successful. Is that you'll see to where it has changed file size. And uh, so we'll head on over to my Game Boy Advance emulator on here. And uh, check it out. It should be working just fine. I'll even open that specific file. I don't know why I'm doing this. I've got it in a folder, but oh well. So, we'll head back to where the download is. That way I can show you. Well, I'll just show off the one I already have. Because apparently I haven't granted permission, which I don't feel like doing right now. And there's that one right there. Uh, I renamed it a little different, but this is the exact file you should get. There you go. I'll rotate it. Well, actually, I've got this set to portrait recording, but you get the idea. You can rotate it if you want. And there you go. That's it. You didn't even have to watch that part. Uh, we patched it. It got patched. Open it with whatever emulator you like. Alrighty. See you next time.